In other news, fear among Garfield Park residents as arson detectives investigate a suspicious house fire. Yeah, nobody was hurt, but neighbors say it's the latest in a string of incidents that began months ago. News H Julia Dang following the investigation. Um, has anybody been arrested here? That's a great question, Mike. A neighbor shared a photo today of a man handcuffed on Finley Avenue where the fire happened, but IMPD declined to confirm if anybody was taken into custody due to their ongoing investigation. Fire department officials told News 8 they determined the porch fire was set intentionally. This has been going on for the entirety of the summer on this block. Mike Angel has spent hours watching the 1200 block of Finley Avenue where two friends used to live. It was really he says their home mysteriously caught fire after they claimed they were threatened by a neighbor prompting them to move out of Garfield Park because they were so scared for their lives. Now nearly two months later another fire on Finley this time confirmed arson on a vacant property across the street. It's an abandoned house luckily. A witness who talked to News 8 requested we protect his identity. I heard a big kaboom. I ran, looked outside and I seen the front porch across the street in blaze. He reported feeling threatened by the same neighbor and says the man was heard saying he would quote light up the neighborhood hours before the fire. He's threatened to harm or kill people on the street. Even a postal worker was aware of rampant fear on Finley. She checked to make sure neighbors were okay as she dropped off their mail. During the past eight weeks, Finley Avenue residents have called 911 to report at least three fires they now believe are connected. They're worried about what they call escalating behavior and lack of action. I'm just worried that he's going to hurt somebody. And we were unable to reach that neighbor accused of threatening people on Finley Avenue. He was previously questioned by IMPD after a neighbor's porch cam captured an act of vandalism. He was not charged following that investigation. Live in the studio.